Hello and welcome to a little uh, tutorial on advanced scraping. Okay, so we're gonna just check out my PlayStation folder. Here we go. See all these lovely uh, named. Uh, okay, let's see if they scrape. Here we go. PlayStation. And it looks all good. Look. Um, yeah, game's not found. Zero. Let's check what we have. Um. We can't just rely on the file names, though. Let's just check the videos. Okay. Final Doom's here. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh... This is supposed to be GTA 2. Well, let's check the rest. Good, good. Good, good. Yep. Okay, so it seems like the only game that we're having problems here with is GTA 2. Let's just check out the file name. It's, uh, look, Grand Theft Auto. We're just going to add a 2 to the file name. And then, uh, we'll just remove these because it thinks we've already found it. So just press play. Found everything again. Okay, let's just quickly check the media. There we go. Now we got GTA 2. Yeah, so so it's all well and good checking out only the CRCs, but if they're all over the place, um, the scraper actually just checks the file names. So that's what we got to do. Uh, we just got to change the names. All right, let's check out this PSP folder. Okay, games not found. Two. Uh, let's check which ones. Okay, in this list it'll say completing file and not game. You see these two? Okay, so what we gotta do is somehow change the names so Scraper recognizes them. Let's give it a, let's give it a shot. Mm, okay, this is Crisis Core, Final Fantasy. And the other one is Final Fantasy Zero. Translation hacks, I believe. Let's try again. Not found them. Okay, so your little file name changey thing doesn't work. What do we do? We could keep on trying. Even trying like random file names. But that's not a good idea. So for the PSP, what we can do is try this. There's a website here. It's Leecherman. Just uh, check out the website and go down to where it says... You see this? PSP ISO Renema. Gonna get this. Okay, we're just gonna download both the database. Oh wait, wait, that's not right. We're gonna download the database, which is the very top file, and the very bottom file, which is the uh, the latest version of this little tool. Okay, so we're gonna get that. Extract it. To, I don't know, anywhere you want. Doesn't matter. Just gonna extract it here. And then we need to save the database file to the same directory. Same folder. Folder. There we go. Save as. Okay, we can copy and paste your folder name there. Press save. Okay, now we have the database file and the executable. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run it. <laughs> Don't think you even need to do that as admin, but whatever. And we're going to go to our PSP folder, the PSP ROMs folder. That we want to add to the Pandora. And then press OK. 
Okay, so it's just inserted a load of ROMs, and you see on the left, that's the file name, and on the right, it's the actual name, what it should be, okay? So at the bottom, we're gonna flip this up to say, name. You can select them all, and you can just press the rename button at the bottom right. Okay. Two green ones. They've been changed to a nice file name. And then we can rerun Scraper.